You're tuning into the All on the Table podcast. Your discretion is advised. All on the table process. KC. Semis of Brad's mixed on. Cash money. Boom! Look at the band back in town. I don't even know what video y'all talking about, but yeah. Super producer. Fuck out of there. You know what video it was, nigga. <laughs> I, didn't see good. The, I gotta see the video to you know what the fuck y'all talking about. It was, it, it was one from Miami. Yeah, he sent in the group thing and it was a uh, Google link. It was just a picture from what I seen. Well, oh, get off did. of that fucking brick phone. Yo, eat a dick. <laughs> y'all, y'all see, y'all gonna make me act like this tonight. Man, yeah, fuck you fuck see, the situation shit down. right, then nigga. Hey, fuck out he of get, He's getting pictures in Morse code and shit. I was talking to you worse than we do. Hey, man. <laughs> he already know. Hey, so he t- he said something to me today, right? Not really to me. He said this to his son, man. He was having a conversation with his son. And his son was getting out the car to go in the store. He says to his son, he was like, hey, man, uh, you know, you got enough money for blah, 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 blah. His son was like, yeah. He's like, all right, man, go ahead in the store and watch your booty. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what did you just say? Watch it or wash it? Watch. watch. So apparently, whenever his kids leave from in his presence, he tell them to watch their booty because apparently that's the worst thing that could happen to you if somebody touch your booty. So he tells them to watch their booty no matter where they go. Fuck you, sure, you sure that just isn't his version of watch your ass out there? No. Right. Apparently he said, his. he was telling, he explained to me that his uncle had did so much time in jail Oh, that shit. his uncle tells everybody to wash their booty, and he told him that so much that now he has to say that to his kids. And I'm like, dude, I'm not about to scare my kids and tell them to watch your booty every time you fucking walk out the house. Like he's gonna have his kids wearing sneakers in the shower. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm like in showering with they. Drawers. They may they may start carrying shanks. What are you talking about, dog? They, right. they gonna be showering with their drawers on and shit. Exactly. They start carrying shanks, man. They no, start carrying shanks. You're out of pocket for even thinking about that type of shit. Like you did wrong for that. Like you just gonna tell the kids watch your booty though. So now that's what they thinking every time they leave their house. Oh shit, I gotta watch my cakes. Fuck kind of shit is that? You look. Mm. He could. He could have said at least watch your ass. You gonna say watch your booty though? Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's that don't sound about right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, boy, just he he did wrong for that, man. He don't know. Sometimes you gotta realize, man. Some people just don't know no fucking better. Guess what? Chicken butt. Go around the corner and lick it up. Oh, I don't know. I ain't heard of that. What the fuck? It's that old school shit. What you got, Ben? You say Ben? Yeah. Am I Ben? I thought I was um Thomas. Yeah, that's Thomas. It. Time. Come you on, got man. Tom. It's been that long. You don't know who Thomas is anymore. Oh, shit, don't Damn. Know. <laughs> but I did want to bring up some stuff while I got everybody on the line. So kind of like the smaller, I want to get into meat and potatoes later, right? About some of the bigger things that I briefly t- uh, talked to Ross ass about earlier today. Uh, and another kind of big story, I think for hip hop that is getting no publicity. I'll uh, get into that later. But right now I want to talk about the real quick shit. Um, y'all heard that uh, Kanye dropped the was it Donda Donda album? Yeah, I still ain't listened to it myself. I don't think he yet. dropped it yet. It came out. No, yet. yeah, he didn't. He had the watch party. And yeah, he late. didn't yeah. it yet because uh, him and Jay Jay was working on some shit. Jay dropped a track. Like, Jay was recording a track at the time it was supposed to drop. Yeah, good call. That's exactly what I was going to get into. And he po- they posted something cryptic like uh, maybe you need to rewatch the throne or something like that. So. Yeah. They seem to be, you know, at least at this, you know, surface level of like he just dropped the verse on a dime for him. That's I think that says big things about Jay-Z, right? No matter what they got going on, what have said back and forth. He asked him, he reached out, he dropped it. Yeah, but especially if it's his mom's album, right? Like I was named uh, after his mom. I was I was hearing that a lot of people kind of, you know, was up in the air about it, bro. Most people saying it's trash. Well, I, I haven't heard it yet. Yeah, me neither. I haven't heard it yet either. I didn't get a chance to listen yet, but apparently uh, a few people who was at the listening party, uh, KD and a couple other people basically was tweeting out saying that this is already going to be the album of the year. Now, 
when I heard about that my show, as I'm as they were saying it, I had a thought in my head, and the person that was talking about it ended up saying the same exact thing that I was thinking. Every time an album comes out nowadays, the first thing everybody say, oh, this is album of the year. Right. Every new album that come out can't be the album of the year. Like we, people got to right. get out of the mindset of saying just because something is new mm-hmm. that it's the fucking best thing ever. But you know, man, in, in that industry, they all buddies in the sports and music industry. So, you know, they're going to shout that nigga out. But I mean, Jay is the truth. Um, but he, of course, he ain't pushed it out lately. But motherfucker don't have to do nothing else for the rest of his life. He's a billionaire. But you know, that's like that's like a slogan because motherfucker probably just listen to the beats about oh, that's the album of the year. Did you listen to the lyrics yet? You know what I mean? Like, let the album you got to listen to the album at least five exactly. times. That, that one song ain't gonna make the album. You know what right. I mean? They say like sixty thousand people showed up for the uh, listening party or watch party. So you bring you bring up a good point with that. Casey is that there's also been complaints about how expensive his fucking food bar was at the watch party. No, mm. <laughs> yeah. Apparently he had a food bar or some shit like that that was charging like outrageous prices. Um, was they serving bread and cheese and salad like that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, if you're if you're paying fucking two hundred dollars, if you're paying two hundred dollars for a ripped up Yeezy fucking white tea. You know what I mean? Like, hey, hey, can, what... can can the chef can the chef ski Bob tell you what they had? Right, <laughs> right. The motherfuckers had caviar, they had lobster, they had filet mignon. Yeah, come on, listen, they was going in, bro. You already know, man. But shouldn't that shit be free though? Yeah, but fuck that damn ski. That ain't no fifteen hundred dollar meal, bro. And if you're claiming, bar. if you're claiming you got six billion dollars or whatever he says he got, exactly. Why, why are you charging people to come exactly. to your listening party? Exactly. Food. And that's crazy. But you know, if you're uh, uh, bar, you know what no motherfucking smearing off on the bar, that's for sure. Right. <laughs> and, to, and to keep and to keep on thing with this Kanye uh, watch party, they also said that he broke down during the watch party talking about how he lost his family. Uh, uh how he lost his what? His family. Yeah, you know, you know Kanye, you know, you know, he, he get deep sometimes, you know what I mean? He, oh. he gotta take he gotta take that moment, he gotta take that moment, be emotional. You know it. You know, oh man, nice, nice, good looking uh, vest there, sweater vest there, boy. <laughs> what are you talking about? He talking about coaching. your shirt, nigga. He said you got on a sweater vest. I don't got one on. I don't got you don't even sweater vest. He would have cut it off here, but he didn't have time because I said, <laughs> first of all, this is the official Michelin S. So fuck you, bitch ass motherfucker. Oh, that's good. Hold on, now fuck that. We gotta address the elephant in the room. I ain't seen your ass in about a month of Sundays. You just gonna walk in the room talking shit? Fuck you, cuz. I ain't even walk in the room. You did, Coach Peterson. Bitch, I was in the room before you walked in the room. Fuck you. Wait, hold up. I gotta ask a I gotta ask a question that's related to what uh Ross Sass is saying right now. You go missing for all this time and you come back with that African chain on, and I'm gonna did you pull a Chappelle on us? Exactly. Just bounce to the exactly. motherland and they had to get your shit right. Listen, when when death hits, man, sometimes it hit a little different. You know what I mean? So Perfect. like, so you've been, been going, you've been going for a month. You left with a black bear to come back with a gray bear. What's going on, Ski Bob? No, no, no. That's actually salt and pepper, motherfucker. You did. I blend with it, cause you see the blend. That's a good blend right there. <laughs> sprinkled, sprinkled with wisdom. Sprinkled. We're all sprinkled with wisdom. That's a good blend. You see it? <laughs> Facts. Hey man, how am I the oldest nigga on the cast? And I ain't got no grades. That's just for men, got- motherfucker. Exactly. It's, called <laughs> it's called hair dye. It's called hair dye. We don't buy Beijing. That like ain't dye. Exactly. We don't buy Beijing, motherfucker. Hey man, fuck y'all, man. He got those beard. He got those beard weaves and shit. Exactly. Shit's we get neat. beard dye enhancements and shit. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, but um, you know, condolences, Ski. No, you know, man. Listen. I'm, you know, I was mad that I couldn't be with my crew, but you know, I had to, you know, real life had kicked in, man. You know what I mean? It wasn't just on my wife's side; it was on, not, on, you know, on my side too. My mom's still in the hospital, you know what I mean? But she fighting strong, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, we got to take every day valuable, you know what I mean? Yeah, you got hit with that double barrel on both sides. Yeah, that shit was crazy, bro. And, you know, we still ain't out the weeds. We still pushing, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, man, you gotta keep pushing family first, obviously. Listen. 
It'd be, hey, I'm, hey, look and then that, moving, and hey. then and then figuring out the new gig situation too. So there's a lot of left turns going on. You know what I mean? But you know, we put shit in play. You know what I mean? So hey, look at look, look at that bodega. What is that pinnacle? <laughs> 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 I wish that gotcha. <laughs> I wish I had like Marv Marv Albert play by play on that one. Right. <laughs> the house. I gotta Maybe you can see the bottle come around the corner, the size of that right. the way he laid it, the way he laid it on his forearm. It's like he's done it before. First down. Look, he's a walking first down. <laughs> right. Hey, so here's another interesting thing about the um the Kanye Listen party or whatever. He dropped his new Sneakers, did you see those? I'm not really down with the sneaks, bro. I it shit looks like a that. it shit looks like a hybrid between snow boots and you remember the, the Nikes on Back to the Future? Mm-hmm. It looks like a cross between those two. Wow. They they're not bad. Like they're not like I can't get with all the other shoes he got, but these ones, I'm like, I'm looking at them. I wouldn't rock them because of the color, really? but I'm like, it's not bad. It looks like that Nike. The futuristic Nike, but practical. You talking about sneakers? Remember them waffles you had down at MIA? I wound up yeah. grabbing them Jones for my son for his birthday, bro. Bro, those things are the best things ever. I was mad because I had some LA Jones like that, the purple and the and the, and the yellow, but they had my fucking size. I was mad mm. as shit, man. Those things break in. It's like you're wearing a sock. Bro, I was mad they ain't had my size, man. I was mad as shit. I tried on like four sizes, bro. I'm like, man, go and get me another one. I know you got one back there. Oh, by the way, while we're on topic of sneakers, for all the sneakerheads out there, if anyone that listens to our show is a sneakerhead, they shut down a couple plants that manufactured some Nikes overseas. Can't remember exactly where it was, but they said production is going to be limited, so stock's going to be hard to come by. Mm-hmm, bro. Them sneaker prices are going to go up, up, yeah. up. Shit, that you gas know? is going up. <laughs> Yeah, I can tell a lot of shit going up. That gas, how, how much of gas is down there for regular, bro? Oh, uh, 390 Damn. ish. No, wait, wait, maybe, maybe 304 or something like that. 304. Well, that's a hell of a difference. You can't get it. Oh, uh, right. yeah, I thought you said 390. Shit, we had because well, some, some of us put premium in our shit. Uh, oh, I said 87. That's why I had that type of money, bro. Yeah, I'm a poor bro. Yeah, I'm gonna get that 87 Supreme, okay? <laughs> <laughs> all day. Yep. No, no, no. It's 87 Supreme. Fuck, don't let him tell you nothing wrong, dog. Hey, I'm still in my I'm still in my gas. I'm not pro <laughs> no, I'm regular degular. Fuck you talking about. I'm ready to start siphoning motherfucking shit while you bullshit. Oh hell no. Nah. Hey, hey while we're talking while we're on that topic of premium and regular, um, did you see my post on Instagram? You did. You had like six million of them, so I don't remember which one you. Oh no! Just recently, no on the on our on our uh, account. No, I haven't. I took a picture. I said, "Is this dinner or not?" You need to look at it. I'm gonna look you at eating it right that now. or not? He's mad or you're not? <laughs> Went on the gram. <laughs> yeah, it's on the gram. I ain't eating that shit. <laughs> That's not even an option for me. That's octopus. First of all, I'm, I don't eat octopusy. And I also don't eat rabbit food, so that's not even an option for me. Rabbit food, yeah, man, it's like, a lot of rabbit. That's food healthy, healthy fucking food. It was some fucking celery in the wings, and the nigga got mad. Hey, man, I ain't eating that shit. Yeah, you throw that shit away. I ain't touching that shit. Yeah, you got artichoke <laughs> in that joint, radish. Yep. I'm a grown man. You keep the rabbit food to yourself. Fuck out of here. Uh, some frisé. You got some frisé in there. There you go. What's kind that's of crazy? Food? You can see all that. Yeah, you know, man. Listen. I mean, just because motherfuckers don't eat this shit don't mean people don't know what it is, man. Damn. I mean, er- everybody, wow. just because people can't afford to eat it don't mean people don't know what it is, man. What you mean can't afford to eat it? That shit costs the same as a fucking Big Mac. Uh, man, I was, I was going to go way dark on this one. I had to take that one back. Motherfucking. <laughs> I was going to let it loose on that. Oh, man, I can't do it. I'm too white for that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what are you going to say? I was gonna say it's the same price. It's the same price as the family pack of fucking bucket of chicken. So hold hey, on. Man. <laughs> so a bucket of a bucket of chicken costs the same amount as one fucking little ass baby ass <laughs> pussy sauce. Nah. How much is a bucket of chicken at Popeyes? Twenty bucks. Exactly. That shit was twenty bucks. 
So you you got an octopusy salad for twenty bucks. That I'm salad broke. look good, bro. Man, I'm broke as shit. Yeah. I'm not spending twenty dollars on no fucking shrubbery. Well, I mean, so, well I'm look just at saying. the Picasso it's a... he got behind him. Exactly. No, that ain't no Picasso. That's fucking TJ Maxx, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty nine ninety nine. Come on. <laughs> they put it up for you too. They, they put it up for you too, right? Yeah, right, no that's, shit. Nah. That's the, Velcro, that's the Velcro strips on that one. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was real art. You ain't hanging out with Velcro. Facts. Yo, I tell wifey that. She told me, oh, hang that joint. I said, man, you don't get them Velcro joints and stop playing, yo. Get out of here. Hey, speaking of um, Kanye West and Jay-Z <laughs> jumping on his shit, did y'all see that uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce's, like, $3.5 million mansion that they have abandoned down in uh, New Orleans was uh, caught fire? And they're yeah, investigating man, I saw it. that this morning. They're investigating it for arson. Hey, that's how I'm about to say. Hey, man, it was Trick ass. Daddy, bro. It was Trick Daddy. Why was it Trick Daddy? Because, you know, they had some uh, beef going. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he was talking about Beyonce. I can't even remember what it was. Something in regards to her singing or being the queen of R&B or some shit like that. He, 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 he Actually, he said some shit like she, she's not a good singer. Uh, okay, well, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. I never, I'm not disagreeing. I never saw the hype on Beyonce singing. To be honest with you, I never thought she was a great singer. I always, in my opinion, I always thought Kelly was the best singer in the group. But uh, everybody told me I was just hating. Well, let me when tell I said you that. Let me tell you this: Trick Daddy could have been Michelle, but she wasn't allowed to talk. Trick Daddy got the beehive getting ready to fuck up his career, dog. Dude, the Even beehive, worse than what it is. The beehive be ready to kill everybody that mm-hmm. say anything against Beyonce. Anything. Hold well, on. See, that's what happened when Dude, the machine the gets is worse than the LGBTQ community, dog. Mm-hmm. You can't say a fucking word. You can't even speak Beyonce's name unless oh, you're no. talking greatness, or they ready to just straight kill you. So on the fuck, like off. that shit is ridiculous. Like she should, she should drop an album called Killer Bees. I'm surprised she. What, what it's gonna have four songs on it? Something. He did. Well, you know what, man. I, and I, I, I commend them not even addressing situations like this. Them motherfuckers are billionaires, bro. Yeah. You can say what you want about them. They set for their fucking oh, oh. kids are if set. You, if you think their fucking kids' kids are set. If you think Beyonce and Jay-Z are not gonna address that shit, you out your mother. It's been mother. weeks, bro. That don't mean that they ain't it's been weeks. Ain't how, long, it. how, long, how long did Jay take to put out a fucking this song against Nas? Oh well. They go, oh. they gonna marinate on that shit, yeah, and they gonna try to make sure that in their minds this is the fucking greatest song ever. First of all, it's Trick Daddy. Trick Daddy don't even do music no more. Like if you if you try to destroy Trick, you could you could put out you could go do a nursery rhyme and destroy the boy because he don't right. do music no more. No, maybe because he's a thug. They're gonna yeah, yeah maybe harmoniously. <laughs> but no, no, it's Polo. Motherfuckers gonna marinate on this shit. And whoever dropped the next album, it's gonna be a diss track and, about and that. I'm gonna tell you what. Hey, so here you go. Here you go. I'm a thug is the one of the dopest tracks, boy. Yeah. That, that yeah. motherfucker yeah. dope, bro. Hey, that video was great too, by the way. Yeah. Um, Yo, but I, speaking of speaking of diss tracks, Nas's couple bars, whatever, a minute 45 seconds released that he did a track diss record, or at least a couple bars on Tupac today. It just kind of resurfaced today. I heard it was about out that. There. Yeah, I heard exactly. about I got, that. I got look, send it to me. Yeah, that's been all over fucking social media. Send it to and me. I got and I gotta say this, it really put something in, and I kind of knew this already, and I think a lot of people would agree with this, but um, but it put it into perspective for me to say that when back in the day, when let's say Tupac didn't get killed, but he did drop Machiavelli, he did blast Nas, he did say shit about Nas. Let's say hypothetically Nas fires back. Nas is winning that for sure. I can't. I'm not guaranteeing you that, Pippa. Let me t- tell me why. Tell me why. I'm gonna tell you. All right. Tell so me. here's the thing: going at going at a a prime rare form Tupac means that there is not going to be a you put out a track, I put out a track. Going against Pac at that time meant you put out a track, I put out an album. Right. Like, so therefore, Nas would have had to actually put out a whole album mm-hmm. against Pop. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah, he couldn't have kept, he couldn't have kept up with the work ethic. No, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been like him going against Jay, where I'm gonna I'm do this well thought out, calculated situation. No, nah, it would have had to be dog. Pop gonna put out an album next week with 600 tracks on it, and they all about you. 
Yeah, and so like thirty, and like thirty people, and thirty people riding with him. Exactly. So you gonna have to do the same fucking thing. Did you hear about that time that uh, Snoop and Pop walked up on Nas, and it was like a group of uh, Pop's boys, and I think Nas was maybe with two or three of his. Mm-mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Snoop Dogg told this story on the podcast. He said, "Yes, that. he did." He, he, and basically, what he said was, "Cause and and, and and Pac was talking shit. He was talking reckless, like he always does. Mm-hmm. I mean, heavy." And Snoop was looking at Pac like, "Yeah, like you crazy, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> We're not in our hood right now." He said, "Basically, when it was all said and done, because Nas was like, I'm a fan of yours,' and and, and of course, Pac was talking shit. And 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 Snoop said, by the time it was all said and done." Nas let them live, man. Yeah, yeah. Look, Nas let him go. He said I could have. He said Nas let us live. He said my my man wanted to pull out and all that shit. He said that no, nah, this ain't the this ain't right time. He obviously this is obviously a misunderstanding. So the misunderstanding actually comes from, and this is the conversation I think they had at a later time after that confrontation at the Source Awards, right? Yeah. And and Nas details the fact that they had this conversation and they got down to the problem like. Pac thought he was siding, doing whatever, and had words that, you know, weren't really, you know, Pac was paranoid, so yeah, Pac right. thought he was talking about him, and, and Nas was like, nah, but it's funny because that story came out probably like a couple of weeks ago about the Nas, like, I just saw that resurface a little bit ago about the Pac confrontation at the um, Source Awards, but interesting that then this thing comes out about this little couple bars that he spit about Tupac. In which the bars are pretty dope, by the way. Like, I could tell, like, that's why it made me ask the question. I was like, okay, he basically, like, he said some slick ass shit to him in, like, three or four bars. And didn't really have to, like, go over the top, you know what I mean, try to overly saturate his point. He Which just he made it. Does, to me. No, he, but that's why, to Walt, uh, to uh, Ross Ass's point, is like, that's why he would, he would lose, because I'm a Pac fan. Um, that's why he would, that's why Nas would lose against Pac because right. Pac would, Nas is just going to sit back and take too much time and he's going to miss the moment. Pac's just going to avalanche you Facts. and he ain't going to give you a chance. He's going to smother you. He ain't going to give right. you a chance Pac, to get your word out. Pac will, <clears throat> every, every, literally everybody's that been in the studio with Pac said the same. And it's funny, <clears throat> you hit me up about the fucking Scarface joint and one thing Face instantly said and he was like, yo, I got it. He, he said, Pop got mad at me because I had to write my verse. And he was like, y'all, everybody know Pop. Yeah. Pop go and do a fucking song in 15 minutes. Yeah. Like, you put a beat on, Pop got a whole song done in 15 minutes. If Nas would have came, if any, dog, look at look at how many tracks he put out towards Biggie, and Biggie only did technically and, one song. And, real, and, real. and, and on, on the real, if if you even think about battling Pop, all you got to really do is listen to Hit Him Up. That's enough right there, bro. Dog, right. Let's hit him up. Hit him up. You, the dog, whole Machiavelli album, really. Right? The first, first <laughs> yeah. to the last. Verse. Dog, in my personal opinion, that's not even his greatest diss track. His greatest diss track was Against All Odds. Yeah. Like, he was just dis- disrespectful, that whole fucking song. Yeah. Like, he, it was just name drop after name. He just didn't give a fuck. Yeah. You know, crazy. So, to say, you know, it will be, and, and don't get me wrong, I didn't, I didn't said it before and I say it again. Nas is a fucking lyrical guy. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Nobody feel about it. Yeah. Is he in my top five? No. But Pac also not in my top five. Big also not in my top five. Which all three of them are fucking super fucking dope legendary MCs. Yeah. But Pac did not, I mean, Nas did not want that smoke. <laughs> nah. Nas did not. Ain't nobody want this smoke that came nah, yeah. fucking with Pac. at that Because Pac was upset. You, it's a difference in fucking with Pac and fucking with an angry. But Pac. you know, you gotta, you gotta also remember too, though, bro. For me, this is my own personal opinion. I feel like not only was it a lyrical battle with Pac, but it could also turn into a physical altercation if he didn't like what the fuck you were saying. It, it wasn't. No, no. See, I mean, he definitely ran up on people and ran exactly. Into there's exactly. A, I was about to say, there's a difference that it could have turned into something, and it was guaranteed to turn into something. Right. Well, it was guaranteed <laughs> to turn into something. <laughs> exactly. If you said some shit he didn't like, Pop was going. You know, Pop was going to figure out where the fuck you was at. What's that? Run up on it. Right here, motherfucker. Fuck that. Right. That, that go back to the point you were saying. You said you want an angry Pop or a chill Pop. You feel exactly. what I'm talking about? So you I want, want both. 
Yeah, but if you no, pause, if, pause. If you fucking rapping and you saying some reckless shit about me, nigga, I'm coming back. Exactly. And, and but I'm, I'm saying not, like what, when I'm crazy. vibing, when I'm vibing Pac's records, I want both. That th- that was one of the be- beautiful things about his albums when he did come out. Where he is that he would just spit all this venom, give you a couple tracks of venom, kill the beat, you know, hard shit, and then come back with all the, these other like a lighthearted one, like a toss it up or how you want it. Mm-hmm. Their mm-hmm. classics. Shit, yeah. right? Wait a minute, like yeah. shit. Oh, 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 oh. To me, to me personally, and this is hard. I've always battled this in my mind because I'm a huge Pac fan. It's hard for me to pick what I like, what album I like best. Machiavelli, All Eyes on Me, and um, Me Against the World. So I, I like all this shit. I like them all for different reasons, but one of the things that I think sets everything apart, like for one, I like his uniqueness on me against the world if that makes sense like i liked his mix of it wasn't just west coast right feel it was like a little had a little twist of new york shit in there you know what i mean and it just it was more worldly if that made sense you know what i mean like he wasn't just making it for west coast shit so there's that one and he was going through a lot when he made it right with the charges and all that shit he just got off of fucking shooting cops and shit like that (laughs) you know what i mean like there was a lot going on there but the all eyes on me shit, like to come out and and knock out that many tracks, be one of like the first, you know, major artists to drop a double disc album, right? Fire. And then not, o- and not only the whole, yeah, both of them fire. And then not only that, for it to go like diamond, you know what I mean? Within a fairly short amount of time. Because it was rare part. Right. So, and then, and then you go with Machiavelli. I like Machiavelli because it's like his war mentality. He's like, all right. I gotta go in, go in. So, so for me, if peace, what up, peace, Billy Idol. So for me, if 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 uh, if all eyes on me was one disc, that would have been it for me. If he would have took all the best songs from that double and made one disc, that would have been the greatest fucking CD. Yeah, but how do you pick them? How do you pick them? No, don't get me wrong. It would have been very difficult to pick that shit, but. If he would have took all the best songs from All Eyes On Me and made one disc, that would have been the greatest fucking CD that has ever fucked. It might even have been better than the Purple Tape, in my personal opinion. Y'all know the Purple Tape, there's not too many of anything that has came out better than the Purple Tape. It's just that simple. But if he would have made one disc, it probably would have been better than that. But because he made it a double disc, I got to go with Machiavelli. Machiavelli, right. every fu- the Machiavelli was like what was like listening to a fucking movie. Like that shit was <laughs> like every song was just amazing after amazing. And to end it with Against All Odds was like, what in the fuck? Cuz like you serious, bro? Yeah, like, the, the against all odds at the end. You say you get my money right. That's just a whole fucking shootout at the end. <laughs> from, from from beginning to fucking no, anybody Hail Mary, anybody that could tell me that yeah. they anybody that puts on all on Machiavelli. First of all, if I come to your house and you put Machiavelli on and you skip a song, let that motherfucker play. No, 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 no. If you skip a song, I'm slapping the shit out of you. <laughs> it's just that simple, cuz. I'm a, hey. I'm, a, I'm a grandma down from the south slap the shit out of you because you disrespectful as fuck. And I don't appreciate the fact that you allow me in your house for you to disrespect me in such a way that you would skip a fucking song off that album. The album is too fucking classic. All right, so let's take a break. Let's take a break for a second so everybody can catch up and welcome our boy Feast Bills into the building. Oh, Mr. Yeah, Drunk and Drawn, you know what he on. What's up? What's up with y'all? You know what y'all? Name on? <laughs> hey, thanks for uh letting us use that track, man. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah, no problem, no problem. Anytime. Shit's fire. Thank Bye. you. Yeah, Thank you. I man. appreciate it. So bring you up to speed. We're sitting here talking about uh to today kind of surfaced a hot topic among other things that we touched on, right? We touched on some, a little bit of Kanye dropping or not dropping, but having this listening party, right? Mm. A couple of things came out of that. Jay-Z jumped on a track, mm. hinted it, hinted it something like rewatch the throne kind of there. Okay. Uh, Jay-Z Beyonce's mansion in New- Louisiana uh, isn't being investigated for arson. Uh, we got Kanye breaking down, talking about losing his family and his listening party. He released his new shoes. Um, and then, and then we got on the subject of Nas in a one minute, 45 second audio clip of a track that Nas did back in the day. 
with dissing uh, Tupac. And we were kind of talking about who's winning that battle, Nas or Tupac. And then we kind of progressed into what is Tupac's best album. So who would win, Nas or Tupac? And tell tell me why. I got I got Pac hands down. <laughs> I'm All sorry. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. So so what's your reasoning behind it? It might line up perfectly just, with ours. I don't know. He, to me, he was just an animal. I don't think nobody was touching him on a on a rap, like especially like dissing, like Nas and Jay. That was a good battle, but. To bring Nas and Pac, in, I don't think he could have stood with, with Pac at all. I don't know. Yeah, so Jay Z Nas was more of a lyrical batter. Yeah, battle. it was chess. It was chess, and yeah. Tupac wouldn't have played chess with Nas. No, pa- with- Pac was disrespectful. <laughs> right, right. So that's exactly how we that we came to the conclusion is like, yeah, right. Pac, Pac would have just flooded him with some war type yeah. shit. Nas would have took too long to catch the wave to respond because he's too wants to, to be too perfect, and yeah. Pac would have just flooded him out. Yeah, I think it would have excellent right up. So uh, let me ask you this then. So what's the best Tupac album for you and why? I can't, I don't even know. Because I fuck with all of them. Uh, so personally, I was explaining that I, I like the, uh, uh, Me Against the World because it had a little bit of New York vibe to it. And Pac was a little different on it. Right. It was still Pac, but he was a little different on it. What, what, and, what, was, the, what was the one with Ambitious of? Ambitious as a ride on. That was all eyes on me. Yeah, that's and the one you had, was on the, on the cover with the black on, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my yes. But then you have Machiavelli, huh? But then you have Machiavelli. I think I'm gonna go with all eyes on me. But all of them was good. Machiavelli was dope too. I know, yeah, right? The, the way that shit up. the way he was basically at war. Uh, Ross Ass was explaining the reason Machiavelli wins for him is because. It was like a movie all the way through, but and that's the one with, sh- with uh, Scarface on it, uh, Smile and all that on it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh uh, no, Smile wasn't on a Tupac album. That was on Scarface. No, Scarface album, yeah. Oh shit. Oh yep. Shit. No, all right. I was thinking of the cover. They, they had the cover yeah. like on a video. Or the something. cross. Yeah. He was on the cross. Yeah, yeah. right, yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, which he was on the cross in the video. Smile for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it was a body yeah. double. One of the two. I so I said, I, I said, all eyes on me. Because yeah, I think I'm gonna go with all eyes on me. The body of work, right? That yeah. how fast he created it and how many classics are on that. Yeah. Like uh Ross Ass was saying that um he thinks it would have been better if it would have been boiled down to one album. And I was like, Well, how do you drop certain songs out there? Like even like the ones that nobody really thinks about, right? Like scandalous. She's so scandalous. Like you got Nate Dog on the hook. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like you can't even pull that one from the from the album. Right, no, right. They say they say Tupac has still has so much work that he didn't put out. Right. I, right. Told, yeah, I think they got a lot of that shit still to this day. Yeah. I think he got a hell of a record that they ain't released. Oh, he got a whole vault because there was like a whole battle between getting a lot of some of that stuff back to the Secure Foundation, the Feeney Foundation and all that stuff. Exactly. And, uh, but yeah, man, it, that was a tough pick for me. I don't know. I have no one or the other, but I still find it interesting that, you know, that comes out, you know, that little snippet comes out after all these years where it's like, where was that a long time ago? You know, it's funny. It came out a day ago. I'm looking at it right now. I ain't check it out. I ain't even, I'm going to check it out and see what he talking about. Right. It's just funny that it comes out now though, right? Yeah, man. I was watching a couple things like, uh, we were talking about earlier, uh, I recently watched Scarface's whole interview on Drink Champs and he touched about Tupac a couple of times. And he said, Tupac used to give him shit all the time because he took so long to write. He said, if you're at the board, I leave the room, I go do what I do and I come back and you're still at the board. He said he would just light Scarface up talking about you're yeah. taking too long. You're taking too long. He wouldn't have liked me to. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take forever. I'm sorry. I just, I got this thing where I just be wanting to, the shit to sound perfect, like, and I be right. trying to think, like, oh, what if somebody don't like this? So I just be like scratching stuff. It like it takes me a while to write a verse, but when it but come out, it come out good though. He probably would have probably, if you think about it, he probably would have speed you up a little bit though. You know what right. I mean? It's like his work ethic itself. You well, know he would I mean? take. He they said that he would take the part because we're, we're our own as artists. You're your own worst enemy, right? 
Yeah. Like you said, sometimes we overthink what we want to say. No, I didn't say. No, he would he he wouldn't let you do that. He would take that yeah. away to say, okay, I can't overthink this. I just gotta it's pop, right? I if I don't get this done, I ain't getting on the track. Right. So here right. it is. Right. You know what I mean? And that might be your best shit because it's the most uh in uninhibited, you know, yeah. burst to where you're not holding yeah, that, yourself. That, back. That, that's definitely one of my big problems. I definitely overthink my music, but I ain't had no complaints yet, so it worked. It worked for me. <laughs> so oh, listen, that's love, bro. You gotta right. continue yeah. to do what it do. But I, lately, it. like I don't freestyle. Like I write everything down. Like it's you put me in a room and just tell me the freestyle is not gonna work. Like it just don't work. Like same. I, I was so the same. Uh, I was the same. I was like, yo, I gotta write this out. I ain't going in there and just fucking you, people's bro. time up. Yeah, but I think I, 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 it brings up a good point to where like Pac style. You know, Scarface alluded to it. Everybody's heard the stories. He said, I'll go in there. You lay it down. Whoop de whoop. We take the last thing I said. We make that the hook, blah, blah, blah. It makes me wonder if he'd actually respect some of these new kind of mumble type rappers where they just go in there and do little pieces and say, okay, that's the trap. And then, like, I don't know how he would feel about that, but. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, I don't know. I don't think he'd respect the music, but just doing it like that just to get it done, probably, but. Just sit back and listen to it. I don't know. Just because the mind, the mindset that he had, like the space he was in, I don't think because he, he told, music. yeah, because he told uh, Scarface in the, um, there was Scarface said that Pop told him he said, hey, look, all you got to do is make it, um, for the bitches, but the guys can like it, and that's all you need to worry about. Here's the crazy part about that, right? When you say something like that to a person, that means that you know that they're gonna put something nice on it. So mm-hmm. I've actually I've actually approached people and said, hey, put a verse, do a hook, do whatever you do on it, and I'm going to follow it up. Right. The only way you can do that is if you know that you can get on basically anything or you can talk about basically anything. I've approached people like that. People like, oh, man, I need a concept. The concept is whatever you do. Whatever, whatever you do, I'm following it. My man Feast, he can tell you I, I did that. Right. Like... If if you know if you if you know yourself that you can get on any beat if you know yourself that you can rap about anything you should be able to do that. A lot of these artists nowadays they can't do shit like that. One because there's no topics in songs no more. People, the name of the song it's funny. You look at it back in the day. You can look at the name of the song and you like all right I know what they about to talk about on this joint. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna listen to this joint first. Sure, Man, sure. The song would be called Mary Poppins. And they talking about Jiminy Cricket some fire. Right. Right. The hook is about Jiminy Cricket. Yeah, so it don't even fucking make sense. So it's crazy where Pop say to this dude, yo, do what you do. The last thing you say is what the hook going to be. Mm-hmm. And Smile came out to be such a great fucking classic. Yeah, sure did. Oh, like, Smile is the shit. Sure no, did. That shit was bananas. Like, man, what's wrong with face though, man? Because that nigga looked like he like ninety years old. Did you? He's see getting a kidney like transplant. Yeah, his son. He his son. son. Like that. Yeah, he just he found out that his, his he son. Had, he had COVID. Yeah. Like he was fucked. Yeah, up I know he's fucked COVID. up from COVID, but I didn't know he had a kidney transplant. No, his son. So yeah, kidney failure. But his son. They tested his son. His son um, uh, is a positive match for him, so he he's gonna get that. Yeah. yeah, he was fucked up in the game for a, a couple years now. Then you gotta remember, man. It's a he was running for like politics and all that yeah, shit. That, down in all, you know, stress, all types of shit kicked in. Like boy, yeah. first of all, boy skinny as shit now. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you see him on the drink champ? Yeah, I was yeah. I was I was actually checking yeah. the joint out earlier. I need to finish watching. Y'all already know, man. That's the greatest rapper that ever did it, in my opinion. A lot of motherfuckers don't want to agree with me. I don't give a fuck how y'all feel about Nigga, it. Nigga, he wasn't better than E40. Man, you could eat a dick with that. Oh wow! <laughs> he made hey, he made he made fun of he made fun of E forty on the thing. He's like, nah, they uh, uh, Nori was talking about I how just, I just said that bullshit because he always uh, okay. that dumb shit up exactly. in my face. But but he did bring it up. He said uh, Nori was asking. He said, yo, I think every you know rapper that's running for a politician in a certain. He said, I think. E forty should be the mayor of the you bay. I think. Schools up and all that <laughs> shit. Yeah. Yes, and Faith said, "No, nah, I, I think the schools would be fucked up if you're doing that." He said, "All the kids are walking around talking about you smell me, you smell me." <laughs> hey, let me ask y'all a question, right? Being as though y'all talking about like battle rap, all that type of shit, right? So something I just found out myself. I don't know if y'all privy to it or not, right? Did y'all know right now Royster Five Nine is battling Lupe Fiasco? Yeah, I, I seen it. I, well, I ain't see the I ain't see the, the distance, but I heard about it. Yeah. So 
I actually I listened to both of they the, the first round of both tracks, mm-hmm. right? Now I fuck with Royce heavy. I don't get motherfuckers yeah, can I say like, what they like want. Royce, yeah. Royce, Royce yeah. is nice. Yeah, yeah, he is. People could try, oh, he's trash. I don't give a fuck uh, how y'all. If you listen to lyrics yeah. and you don't like yeah. Royce, yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't understand like, that concept. You know I, I don't know. I think he's one of the most slept on MCs. He is. Yeah. I agree. Oh, yeah. oh, so yeah. I listen to Royce track and it's a hot track, but it don't remind me of a diss track. Okay. Then I listen to Lupe track. Lupe is coming at this nigga like a vampire. Oh, they said they they said they did they got a podcast or something ago. I didn't know that they had a podcast together. I, I heard they was on. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think Royce got a podcast and Lupe got a podcast or oh, something okay. to that effect. And they kind of like came at each other or some. Sh- I don't know. I don't exactly know how the beef started. Um, I just know I heard the tracks. Well, you know, Lupe what? is on this niggas. Heels. But, but you know what, bro? It it, 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 that, that's how these young niggas is doing it now. Uh, Face and everybody else. Be, if, if them niggas do have a podcast together, that's how they gonna promote it. Yeah. yeah they said, it, was crazy they, it was crazy because they it was crazy because they said they dissed each other. Then right after that, they jumped on the podcast exactly. together. So I thought that was exactly. dope. Yeah, like well, that I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. That's how I heard about it. I didn't even know they was beefing. Oh wow! I, mean, I just scrolling through Facebook like yeah, we're five nine. Niggas and... trying to promote that podcast. Yeah, I, I didn't know they was beefing either. I, I just happened to be scrolling through the book and somebody and somebody had posted like, "Yo, like you know, what's up with these dudes?" Blah 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 blah. And they had like both songs posted. Mm. So I'm like, "All right, let me check the joint out." No, Lupe is first of all, first of all, Lupe is another one of those artists where y'all can say whatever. the Fuck y'all want. Yeah, Lupe, Lupe sharp, has man. always been Ours. nice, dog. Yeah, yeah. he's Ours. always been nice. And a lot of people like, oh, he, he's this, he's that. No, no Lupe, boy, Lupe is sharp, man. Y'all, y'all already know I'm lyrical, dude. I don't, I don't need all the fancy, crazy ex, whatever the fuck y'all want to call it, bullshit. I don't care about the crack rap. I don't care about the gangster rap. Just because you talk gangster shit, don't mean you speaking something hot. Right, right. Lupe right. backpack. Whatever you want to call it, but boy, lyric his pen. I would take when it comes to penmanship. I'm talking about penmanship when it comes to these bars. Lupe, Royce, and fucking uh Bob. They are three of yeah. the most slept on motherfuckers that have. I ever won't. Been. I won't. It's funny Bob. Bob. They, they damn near sounded like Bob and at least Lupe. Dog. Yeah. What you I about to say? I ain't. I ain't. I ain't really up on Lupe. I ain't gonna even fraud you. After the kick push shit, I seen he was like the backpack, you know, down to earth rapper. And I got some some other ones that I was listening to. So it was like I heard the kick push, and after that, it was like the jaws I could catch, but I ain't really, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I, I slept. Listen, on. dog, dog, go on the crates, lasers, fucking all of them. dog, go on the crates, cuz I'm trying to tell you, bull lyrically, oh, shit. Lyrically, Ball is fucking sick with that pen, dog. Like yeah. a lot of people slept on, and I, I honestly I think Kick Push is what made people sleep on it, mm-hmm. but they didn't see the deeper meaning inside of Kick Push. And I think that's why people just was like, "No, nah, I ain't listening to Ball." Like, no, I like the song. That's the crazy part. I did like the song, but it was just I had other motherfuckers like, uh, let's see, like I was I'm stuck on Common and. You know, black folk from the roots and stuff like that. So I had people I was listening to like that. I didn't want to cry myself with the same shit. That's why I was like, all right. I think Common Common is another artist that people people on like crazy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He definitely slept on. Yeah, Common penmanship is ridiculous too, guys. Like ridiculous. Yeah, don't forget Black Thought though. Listen, right, Beast. First of all, if you from Philly. Here's the thing. People say to me, if you from Philly, you got to fuck with Meek Mills. I don't agree no, with you. No, no. But one person I will say, Black Thought. if you from Philly and you don't you fuck, fuck with, with Black, Black Thought, Thought, like no. something yeah. is not right. Yeah. 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 Like, boy, like, like, when, like people say to me, like I've heard people say, yo, the greatest, the best rapper to come out of Philly was Beans. And don't get me wrong. Beans, in his prime... <laughs> Beans. We are ain't even no point in talking about that. We already know what it's sitting for with beans. Yeah, but black thought. Come on, guys. That's two, that's that's two different black lanes, thought. though. Yeah, that's no, I different. agree. Two yeah. complete, two completely, completely different lanes. I agree with you hundred percent on that. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, a lot of people 
a lot of people, like, a lot of people look at the roots and it's like, oh, you know, they they was doing uh, the bull uh, late night show. They too commercial. They yeah. too this. No. They trying to get their bags. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Trying here's, to get their bag. Here's the one thing I will recommend, right? Fuck it. If you, if you never listen to anything Black Thought ever spit, if you've never listened to no Roots song, if you've never listened to none of that, and you want to know for a fact that this dude got bars, go listen when he was on Funk Flex. Oh, I saw that shit, bro. <laughs> I saw he, that. He yeah, went. Yeah. He went. I yeah, think it was yeah. like eight, nine minutes. Dude. Yeah, yeah I saw that. Off the dome. Now here, I was about to say. Here's the thing. Most motherfuckers going phone flex. They actually got shit written. He went straight off the fucking dome piece bro, for like eight, that, nine he minutes. Killed that shit, bro. Oh, what fuck. up, fancy? Yo, time out for a second. We got fancy on the line. What up, man? Yo, what up, guys? Yo, what's going on? Right now, we're discussing about. Slept on rappers that got like real good shit that a lot of people don't listen to. You got anybody to throw in the mix just to put your feet to the fire as soon as you jump in? And hey. don't say fucking chingy. <laughs> you say chingy, I'm <laughs> the fuck off here. Fuck all that shit. <laughs> but not, why he, not current, but. Why he thinking any. though, hey, hey, Feast, what you think of uh, uh, Freeway? Free, Freeway always been hot. He yeah, always, I, like I, too, I think man. he, he wanted and me to, personally. I thought he was kind of. I thought he was hotter than beans. I agree. Oh, that's tough. You got any sleepers, Brian? Uh, I'm sure oh, you got no. pepper. Oh, oh, look, at, so. look at you and your white team. Like and neck. And I don't think he's better than me, though. What's wrong with my white team? <laughs> it's not white. It's it's ash. <laughs> like it make a difference, Come on, man. You say feast. Yeah. I don't. I don't, th- I don't think they was better. I don't think they was better than each other. Yeah, I think it was like a neck and neck thing. I don't think one of them was better than the other. I think, I think honestly, I think Bean's presence was better than Free, but Free penmanship was better. Yeah, than him. and yeah. I think I, I think, agree with that. I think, was it was it was it that Free shit was went went to radio first? No, Beans was on the radio. Beans was on the radio first. Beans Beans paved the way for the whole state property situation, oh, which yeah. I respected. But I think Free was right after that. Then the yeah. young guys, yeah. It, no, 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 Petey. It was so. Petey was peace. I thought. Petey, I thought. Uh, what was that? Like no better love or some shit came out no, before. No, no. Petey, Petey was Petey. So, so he Petey did an interview where he explained like he was he. Uh, state property wasn't like a unit that instantly came together. State yeah. property was a unit that Rockefeller put together. Yeah, so Petey, I heard that. Already, Petey was on the label. Free was all them dudes was on the label already. Yeah. But they, but the Rock, Rockefeller decided I'm gonna put all y'all. <laughs> I just think they got a martini right there. <laughs> yeah, ain't got some stuff. Hey, what a, what a, what a, like, hey, what a year. Like, but but you know, hey, y'all talking about Chicago, these hard ass rap- dog. Y'all talking about these fucking dope ass rappers from Philly. This vodka. motherfucker got a hashtag Philly hat on with a martini in his hand. Yeah, dog. I ain't even. I fuck it up for all y'all. There, like, hold up. We got a hey, man, what's wrong with a martini, man? Nothing, 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 brother. Bush motherfucking popping, folks. Bush motherfucking popping, folks. Me, y'all know what it is. All on the table, baby. It's your boy, boy, Raw Sash, man. Let y'all know. Y'all can check us out everywhere. YouTube. Motherfucking Instagram. Twitter. TikTok. Amazon Music. Fucking Apple Music. Stitcher. We everywhere, baby. You know what I'm saying? Check us out, man. If you got a story to tell, you got something that you want to get off your chest, you want to come on and debate with the team, you want to join the conversation, hit us up. You know what I'm saying? You shoot us a DM on IG. We ready to talk. We ready to get it popping, man. We invite all guests. We invite all conversations. You feel like you got something interesting going on in your life that you just want people to know? Come get with us, baby. Come get with us, baby. Amen.